What's going on everybody, this is Alex KGB. So Bethesda released their dungeon today, the Boros, and I don't know. I mean, I wanted to give it 5.7 at first, but it wasn't that good, so apparently I can give it only 2.11. There's so many games to learn from. There's so many dungeons that have been done before. There's supposed to be a good quest line, maybe several sub-bosses. And the ultimate boss that takes dedication to kill. Now Bethesda said that is this dungeon going to be hard? It will require at least, well, 250 plus players. No, not really. If you have a good equipment, I guess you can do it about level 30. Maybe even solo if you have a good build. If you, if you want melee, you probably uh, can do it. The only hardest part was the Acetron at the end. Or Assaultron. Oh, that's how you pronounce it. So, um, and yeah, it does give you a good reward. Assault, um, Acetron, Assaultron Blade that has some vampiric effect. I mean, it's a legendary weapon. But overall, there's really not much. There's not many enemies. Most of them are ghouls. Uh, when you get further in the dungeon... There are just some gutsies. So apparently Bethesda thought the dungeon is just something that is underground. And that's pretty much what they made. We've fallen for that before when the hype was high. And Bethesda is really good on advertising stuff. They have a perfect marketing team. Like A plus marketing team. Their trailers, their music, their slideshows. Whatever they put out in terms of promotion is getting people overhyped. And then when there's a delivery time, sometimes it would be meh, you know. So this time, yeah, that was the borrows. A lot of people are upset. If you go on Reddit, people are complaining. People don't even find so many legendaries. I had like maybe two or three one-star legendaries. Maybe one, two-star legendary ghouls. Yeah, it's not what we expect. I gotta give them some credit though. What I did like about this dungeon is how it was built. It's a nice location. And maybe eventually it can be like a live CD with real human NPCs giving you quests. I mean, I wish, but if that's going to happen, that's going to be awesome. It's really well designed. It's pretty cool. It feels large at first because there's a lot of tunnels. And I was already going under the water, digging like from some extra spaces to go. There's nothing there. Now, if you don't have a power armor and you're just using your armor build, make sure to go to grab the aqua girl or aqua boy perk because there's a lot of water and it wasn't that hard at all i died only once by accident the ghoul somehow was managed to get to me when i actually jumped and i thought i was out of the reach of the ghoul but it did actually manage to kill me besides the legendary blade there's nothing else there are there are better places to farm and grind so i'm hoping Bethesda is taking in all the criticism and they might improve it by adding more legendary or hard to kill enemies and the other thing that a lot of people missed because of the dungeon that there are two new side quests that are available so this was found out on reddit juice had already talked about it if you want to get more details just go ahead and watch his video i'm just posting the reddit screenshot you can read about it yeah i have a feeling besides that just has to learn on their mistakes and there's so many good examples around just take a look what real dungeon is and how difficult it should be and how rewarding it should be. It's another missed opportunity. There's pl there are plenty missed opportunities in the game. Um, thank God community does provide feedback and besides that is going in the right direction slowly. So hopefully that's what's gonna happen with the bars. Okay, this was Alex KGB. Thanks for watching and bye bye.